This is a quick vid showing how to set up multiple sprite sheet animations on the same object slash controller. This is a question I get asked a ton at Game Guide, so here's a quick overview. If you already have all of your individual animations set up and have an animated component on an object, you can skip to the time code on screen now or in the description. Otherwise, you can follow along getting the sprite sheets set up. Import your sprite sheets. Because this is pixel art, you'll want to set the filter mode to point no filter, otherwise you can just leave it. Then change the sprite type to multiple, hit apply, then open the sprite editor window. Here we can now slice up the sheet into each individual frame. You have a couple of options for doing this, but we'll just pass in the amount of columns and rows in our sheet. Hit apply, and you can see that it's nicely divided up the sheet. You'll have to repeat this step for each of your animations. You can now see if you hit this arrow here, you get a view of each isolated frame. Rad! Now Uni will automatically generate an object with a fresh animated component for us if we drag one of these sliced sprite sheets in. You'll then be prompted to name this newly generated animation. I suggest renaming this animated component as it will default to the file name of the sprite sheet. Now the part you've all been waiting for. We can't just repeat the same process to add the rest of our animations, as it will create a new object and animator for every single new sheet. Instead we need to add them to a single animator, and we do this through the animation window. Window, animation, animation. You can dock this wherever you like. You can now see that we have all these new options. To adjust the speed of your animation, you can change this field here. If it doesn't appear, make sure the show sample rate box is ticked under the cog icon. And to view all the different animations on this object's animator, you can click this drop down here, which is also where we can now add multiple animations. If we hit create new clip and give it a name, it will spit us out a new blank animation clip. We then have to open up one of our slice sheets and select all the individual elements. Click the first frame, hold shift and then click the last. Drag them into the timeline and voila, Unity has spun up another animation. We can adjust the speed to match the other animation and we can flick between them. If we navigate to the window, animation, animator, we can also see that there is now a second clip for us to transition between. There are plenty of videos explaining how to use the animation transitions through code, but if you'd like a simple version from us in the future, you know, let us know. That's all. Thanks for watching. If you require further assistance, we have a whole community server full of people who'd be more than happy to lend a hand. Come on and say hi regardless, and you know, subscribe if you want to see more tutorials, and um, thanks for watching, we'll catch you all in the next video, peace.